Hello, this video brought you by Sankran. Whistle force beyond basics. Action region for multiple forms. I hope uh, I don't need to explain what is forms basically in, in web technologies. As a quick description, it's nothing but collection of fields where you display in the page and how it's processed, things like that. So when you when you do your AJAX call, that is technically a post method after your page loads, you normally send all the input field values to the server for processing. This is the basic. What happens is if you have too many fields, for example, 100, 200 fields, some people used to break the set of field sets into couple three three forms it's okay in some sense but normally web developers uh, insist that it's a very very bad practice so you shouldn't use multiple forms just to avoid sending all the fields to the server but salesforce offers other way to do the same uh, to get similar effect but using a different tag called action region so before doing that before go, go, go what what's that and uh, the advantage but let's see what happens when you do a ajax call when i do when i say ajax call it means that you click a button or click a link or call a ajax function through javascript what happens is it goes through these four steps it pass all the parameters when I say parameters, it's nothing but input field values in a post call to the server and assigned to the controller or whatever field you have and in the controller object. And then it performs some basic validation if it belongs to a subject. If you show the fields from opportunity or account, it will do perf it will perform the basic validation like what. Uh, um, integrity it really matters for example if it's id it checks really it's an id if it's a date it checks really it's a date like few basic validation it also honors the requiredness uniqueness things like that so this validation is quite complex and quite uh, expensive process it's not simple for few fields it's okay but if you have a hundred two hundred fields in your page if you want to do every time this will take quite significant amount of time in the processing let's see how to avoid that but before that let's see the next step after that it performs the action function whatever you called and then it re-renders the whole page with the new controller values whatever you get from executing action function and then it send it sends all the uh, page content to the browser then browser inserts section of page which belongs to the ids in the re-rendered list so this is how it happens in behind the scene when i say these things these four steps th among these four steps the first step is a complex and time consuming thing and the second step action function is up to the developer it's up to the custom logic we should always make it very less complex and uh, we very performance uh, quicker but it's uh, it's in our hand it's nothing we can do but the third one is again depends on how how big your page is again it's up to us and the fourth one again if you use very less number of re-rendered uh, Sorry, if you use proper re-render and it won't update the whole page, again it's up in our hand. The first one, uh, we send all the input values and really we don't have uh, what fields to validate. But Salesforce gives some, some kind of uh, handle to the developers, which is nothing but action region. So action region will be useful when you want to process only a yes, section of page that is section of input fields ignoring everything else in the page which will give you better better improvement in the page response for example if 100 fields if you want to check one field is empty or not or is a date form or something some some custom logic you want to check 
then if you want to do that um, you don't need to do the all the checks standard validation on all hundred fields if you cover the one input field for which you want to validate in an action region only that field gets validated all 99 will be ignored it will be passed to server just for re-rendering purpose all those things but really it won't give any um, it won't take any uh, server time in the processing so let's see through example what I've done is I've created a simple page it has two sections one is excluded region and one is included region in included region I have a opportunity field called op name and I and the include uh, excluded region I'm showing excluded date this is a date format this is a name format then I have a button which will re-render both excluded and included region what happens is behind the scene when I press save then it it carries both values because it's both belongs to form and the server performs a validation on just name because it's within action region whereas the close date is not within action region so it won't be pros it won't be validated at all let's see how it works I'm going to delete this and putting some text in the date field ideally it's wrong let's see what happens and this is name ideally this should have some value because name is required in opportunity let's see see it's throwing validation error this comes from server not browser this comes directly from server and you see that's no error message here rather than it's simply overridden whatever you have done because it's re-rendered the page and it re-rendered this section as well so what happens is uh, we, 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 what happened really we, really we have seen that it simply ignored ignored whatever values we have given that's all let's say another example where I have included both region uh, both inside action region so I have created another page to do the same I'm clear, clearing it I'm putting some value I've made both inside action region that's what happens it shows val error on both uh, input fields because because it's present within, within action region and it validated both and uh, it didn't overwrite it just put whatever uh, value we have given so for a simple page it may not be visible but for, for a large page with more number of fields you should really consider using using so many number of action regions and so many number of re-render attribute re-render re-render because because uh, that will improve the page performance and uh, yeah, it will give it, it also good in terms of maintaining the page because even you even you can have hundred two hundred uh, I mean sorry thousands of lines of code but if you render only section of the page and if you render if you process only section section of the page in the server side really doesn't matter how many lines of page you have you in my experience I have give, I have have even 2000 lines of code in a single page again the page when you execute it it will be very very quicker and uh, uh, no one really knows that that page is so complex so it all it all depends on how you use the proper techniques and uh, how much logic you put inside each component uh, so regardless of how how much business logic you have in a single page uh, the user experience will be very uh, very thin and uh, uh, very sleek uh, in my view so it, it's uh, it's one of the is one of the uh, design pattern uh, design thing which is I, ha I haven't seen many developers really using action region and uh, re-render they simply just go for full page refresh and sim simply they don't use action region at all uh, very very even experienced developer I haven't seen them using it but really people should use even for simple page so that when it grows you will never have to rewrite or re uh, refactor your code don't forget to like this video 
and provide your comments or feedbacks below. If you like this video and want to share with friends, please share them. And if you want to notify about my future videos, please subscribe below. Thank you.